Hello, this is Brian Hool, a solutions consultant with Beyond 20. Today I'm here to talk about how to zoom text boxes in ShareWell Service Management. So let me go into my blue pill here, my client tool. And here you see I have a very simple outage object set up. And here, the cause of it is a power failure in a data center. I might want to create one of these if there's an outage and I want to run reports off of it. So I want to collect the data. I have two audiences for this data. I have an executive summary for management, and then I have a technical summary for the people working the problem. So I want to keep my two audiences separate with separate written text for each. Um, so here I've got these two text boxes, but as you can see, they're real teeny, and I can kind of scroll, but you know, I want to save, uh, perhaps I want to save screen real estate space. So I want to keep these boxes small. So how do I do this? Well, the first thing I can do is I can go into the edit menu and choose zoom. I can also do F8 and watch what happens. I'm in the executive summary and here I have more robust tools to work with. This is a rich text field. So I have all my rich text uh, formatting options, bold and fonts and underlines. I can do that. Alignments, I can do tables and, and all kinds of stuff. So if I click OK out of there, here I'm in back here and I can do the same thing with my other field. But what if I want something that's a little bit more user friendly that doesn't uh, require me to go up into the toolbar. Let's see how I might do that. So I'm going to go into my admin tool, and here I have my outage form open. And it's uh, so I've got my title field and my two summary fields. What I can do is go in and add a button to each field. I'll start with a technical summary. And so I've got a button here, and I want to change this around a little bit. I, I think I'll go ahead and add a zoom button on there and I can do all kinds of cool stuff with my forms. So I'm going to do a search on Zoom and see what comes up. And here I have my zoom.png. So I'm going to do that and I want to get rid of my button text because I just want it to, you know, be a regular old position and let's change that back to say 16 by 16. Click OK. All right, now a little itty bitty itty bitty buttons there. Now I have my button. So what am I going to do with this? Well, it is a command button, so what I can do is I can right click on it and go to control properties. And I'm going to run an action on this. So what I'll do is click my ellipsis to open up my choose action dialog. And I'm going to go to commands. And what does that give me? Well, it, it gives me uh, access to all the commands on the toolbar. So I'm going to go to edit and I'm going to choose zoom and click OK. And what it's going to ask me next is uh, what field do I want to associate this zoom with? So I'll click associate field and I'm going to go with a technical summary for this one. I'll click OK and there I have it. I now have a zoom action on there. So I'll click OK and let's see what happens. So I'll save this out and then I will go in and publish. There's my button on my outage form. So all I can do, if I, if I want to see my technical summary in a bigger window, because this is so teeny, I'll click my Zoom button, and there I have my rich text box. So this way, users don't have to know to go to the Edit menu or to hit F8. They just click the button here, and they can work with the field. And that is how you use the Zoom tool in ShareWell Service Management version 5 to create a Zoom button on a form. Thank you.